In this video, I'm going to show you how to do Umrah using a Saudi tourist visa, which includes the medical insurance, how to navigate the Nusuf app, how to obtain airplane tickets, and how to obtain hotel accommodation. And you will be able to save over $1,000. Here is a more detailed list of what will be on this video, which includes steps to obtain Saudi visa for citizens, residents, and also visa holders. Here are two examples of Umrah packages from JFK New York. As you can see, the first one is 4,200. The second one is 4,900 for single occupancy. If you do this yourself, it will cost you less than 1,500. And for four people, less than 1,200. And on top of that, you get to pick your own dates. Here are some of the things these packages say they offer. But the reality, most of them are already free. Uh, for example, breakfast, most hotels offer it for free. Visa processing, you do it yourself. Medical insurance, I don't know why they list it here, but this is already included in the visa you will pay for. Uh, historical sites, they're free, offered by the Saudi government. Same with transportation, except for the Harmony train, which is a very, very small fee. Go to visitsaudi.com and then click apply for e visa. Select your nationality and you will see you have two options, e-visa and visa on arrival. Click apply now. There are two websites depending on your nationality and this is one of them. We will come back to it later. All right, let us select under the nationality. So you can see right now it gives you a second option where you can choose you are a resident of the US or a visa holder of Europe, for example. We'll give you two options again, e-visa or visa on arrival. Click on apply now. And this is the second website where you can apply to if you are a resident of the US, for example. Click on English and you will see it in the English language. We are back to the first website I mentioned. If you are a national of one of these countries, then this is the right website for you. Go back to the top of the page and click apply now and then select the following fields as they apply to you. Click next when done. So go ahead continue filling information about yourself and feel, feel free to pause the video if you need to and when done just click register. And keep an eye for a confirmation email. Once you register click sign in, enter your email and password and the code then click login. Then click send the verification code, you'll get the verification code in the email and input that and then hit submit and then you'll be able to log in. You can apply as a group or individual. You start by uploading your picture and um, the directions for that is on there. And then you input your information such as your name, gender, married or not, um, you know, date of birth, city of birth, profession. Um, so I'm going to speed up the video a little bit. Feel free to pause if you have to. Additional purpose of visa, I would select leisure and then make sure you select Umrah. It's very important. Then you finish with the information for the hotel. You can put any of the hotels you want. You can change that later. As long as you have a name of a hotel there, that's that's okay. Then you can select your insurance. You just hit that button and then you move on to the next page. Then you hit agree. Then you click next again and so on. Then you can see the fee and you click there and then you agree and complete the payment. It comes to around $142. Their payment system sometimes it fails so you might have to try different cards. The visa will get approved within 24 hours and then you will find it under one of these tabs. So for residency you want to go to the website shown below, click register and then fill the appropriate information. You will then get an email confirmation, make sure you confirm it. Log in and click add new application. Agree to all the terms. When selecting a visa type, make sure you select tourism visa. Enter your nationality and also enter the country of residence. This could be the United States, the UK or one of the European countries. And then just fill the inf appropriate information. Choose from the following. 
then you will be prompt to enter your resident card or visa information. Once you do that, uh, you can upload a copy of your passport and your permanent resident or visa. Enter your last name and first name, upload the passport picture of yourself, and complete the information about yourself. Feel free to pause the video. On For the KSA home address, you can put your hotel address. If you don't know your hotel yet, then you can choose any hotel and put their address. Your port of entry will most likely be the airport. Now this next step is very important. It says, do you want to perform Umrah? Make sure you select yes. If you travel to other countries within the past five years, make sure you enter that. Here's an example. Check the declaration statement when done and click save. Um, after that, you'll be prompt to make the payment. And once done, you'll get your visa within 24 hours. Once you get your visa, then you will need your Omra permit. And you can do that through the Nusuk app. You just have to download it to your phone and then enter the information about yourself, including the visa number that you will get within 24 hours once you apply. And once done, click register it might take you a few tries because sometimes this app has some issues but keep trying and you should be able to register they'll send you an email confirmation make sure you confirm that when you log in this is the first page you're gonna see click on Umrah then you'll be prompt to select your name and then select the date you want to do the Umrah as well as the time when done accept the terms and click continue you will then obtain your reservation. Now you have your visa and Omra reservation. You still need airplane and hotel accommodation. The best way to select your airline ticket is using Google. Enter the city you fly from. You have two options for landing, either Jeddah or Medina. Jeddah is the closest to Mecca. Select the flight, keep in mind the layover time, and feel free to pause the video to follow the steps. As you will see, at the end, the best option was Turkish Airline. And this is based on the dates I had entered, and also considering the shortest layover time. Under booking options, click continue to visit the Turkish Airlines website and pay for your ticket. Choose a hotel. I like to use booking.com and aguda.com. I'm not endorsing these companies, but I found them easy to deal with and people's ratings are accurate. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look at the steps. The most important is to filter. Usually, I select hotels that have a rating of at least 7 out of 10 and above. The higher, the better based on your budget. I sort by the cheapest to most expensive, then I look at the distance, 1 mile, maybe 1.2 miles is the maximum distance I select. Depending on your condition, you can go lower of course, you want to select the closest, but keep in mind, those are usually rated the lowest and most expensive. When I select 3 hotels or I have 3 hotels in mind, I look at the comments and see what people say about the location and the cleanliness. Another great option to find hotels is using Google directly. This will give you a broad search, but it can take time. Keep the rating at 4 out of 5 and above, because I found the Google rating of the hotels to be overrated. I will leave you with 3 important tips. First, closer hotel does not mean better. Usually those are the worst rated. Second, free buses are available in Mecca 24-7. So wherever you are, you'll get to the Haram for free. The Dina buses are available. They do take to the airport as well as the Haramain train station. And they take you anywhere else in the city. The Dina bus website is shown below. You can see their bus map. And also I'm going to show you the prices. The prices are relatively cheap. 3 reals 
around three reals, which comes to a dollar for each ride. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I hope this video will help you make your Omar journey.